Merry Christmas, can I say that? One more thing. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Woo! guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for choosing to join me on today's video let me welcome you to something else we're doing vlogmas Woo! karibu sana to vlogmas we're doing vlogmas and this is probably this is hopefully going to be their first video to kick us off for the vlogmas so karibu ni sana i'll be doing a video every other day so i'll be skipping a day up to the 25th so help me god if i'm not able to of course i'm gonna keep you guys on the loop but my prayer and my hope is that i'm able to do vlogmas up to 25th of december so let's now get into today's video so today we're actually talking about something really interesting i've been on youtube for a year you guys one full year i can't even believe it i'm so excited when i put out my first video i had no idea i was going to make it this far consistently especially i remember when i put up the first video i was like i don't know how often i'm going to be posting but i will try my best to post as often as i as i can and at the time at the time uh my aim was a video every day and to me that looked like such a big thing to achieve but i'm so grateful that i've been able to achieve that since november 22nd of last year that's when i first put up my first video actually i'm gonna leave the link down below so that we can cringe and enjoy the video together because yeah i was so shy i didn't know what to say i didn't know what to i don't know it was i was just sh so shy and so i'm sure about what was ahead of me but i'm so grateful to god especially because i've been able to you know get this far in terms of youtube if you're new here by the way and you have not subscribed please hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you're notified every time i put a video up so that you don't miss out on any chabed makena tea you got it let me say thank you so much for everyone who has subscribed to my channel as of this video i just have my laptop here and i just want to open my channel at at 1.5 1.41k subscribers as in 1041 subscribers and for me no actually 1400 yeah 1400 subscribers so thank you so much thousand was like keep dreaming makena but you know and so for me getting to a thousand subscribers of course is a milestone on youtube i hope you actually get some positive infusion for my channel some information some entertainment just good vibes from my channel i really hope that's what you get from here looking back at youtube um, how my journey has been the lessons that i've learned if i have any regrets you know and like speak about my favorite videos my worst videos yeah so i remember when i shot this video um i didn't know how to i didn't know how to edit i didn't know how to use adobe premiere pro and so that at the time my boyfriend my fiance now <laughs> is the one who edited for me that video and i was like he already had so much on his plate there's no way he's going to edit to be editing for me a video every other week and you know i like he was willing to but also i was like i really need to step out and, and learn how to edit so i actually learned on the job by the time that first video was going up i had no idea but now i edit my videos myself um today i am i set up the camera alone as in let me tell you guys i was actually nervous for real because sometimes you can record and it doesn't record even as i talk i'm just hoping it is recording but i have confirmed and confirmed and reconfirmed like for me that is growth even just the smallest of things like setting up a camera you know and i'm just looking at the video i'm finally on youtube <laughs> So let me tell you, I've watched this video so many times and there are videos that I have never watched on my channel. Let me tell you, there's a video called, I think it was called the one that did not make it. So actually when I uploaded it, what I meant was the video that did not make it to YouTube. And I'm surprised, like right now it has 372 views, like that's a lot, especially in those tenor videos because... <laughs> It was a struggle, you guys, it was a struggle. I had gone to Village Market on a solo date and I was like, okay, let me vlog this. And it was so weird, as it was just, let me tell you, since I put out that video, I have never, ever, 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 ever watched that video. And there are videos I have watched 
more than five times but here sijawai watch then like since i put it up i'm just like hey, oh, i'm just cringing i'm like who was that even of my least favorite videos this is that one it's called the one that did not make it then the other least favorite is called it's the bts it was a shoot for my merchandise so that one the sound was very if you better let me tell you guys something i remember why why i had postponed okay so i was i was a content i'm still uh, i still am but then i was a content creator just on instagram mostly and i remember since i'm into traveling i used to share like snippets you know on my igs on my ig story i'd even come up and talk to people on my stories and then i realized people actually interact really well with my video content and some even would reach out to me and they're like why, why don't you start youtube and for me i thought youtube was for a specific kind of people or a specific group of people and i thought i don't even have a camera my laptop at the time was just so slow like i was like how am i going to edit footage here i'm just going to be frustrated and let me tell you guys i was just like you know what i'm going to start where i am and you know m- many youtubers say that people who have made it even on youtube they say you know just start with what you have for me i usually like to add start with what you have but also know why you're starting because the moment you get into youtube and you're distracted by every other thing like numbers and how many people have subscribed and how many views how many people have watched your channel you'll be distracted and you will stop as soon as you start so for me i think it's important to yes start where you are if it's a phone you have just start with that phone like for me it's only that when now i have the privilege of coming to the studio and shooting the camera but when i'm vlogging outside i, I just use my phone and at the time because it wasn't this phone it was that other small iphone and, um but there's so many people on youtube we are so crowded on youtube but there's no one like me so for me my intention is just being myself on youtube you know and and that's my niche I'm just being me and there's no one like me so so I have my own space on YouTube also. So of course it's important to identify your niche so that you attract a certain target audience, you attract the right people and all of that. That's like the nitty gritties of you know positioning your your channel. These other channels, I mean on these other uh videos I've watched them at least more than once. And what I realized people you guys actually enjoy my travel content. So yeah I think for me that was the plan this year to actually travel more and more and I don't think I'm going to travel as much next year but after that I am going to make sure that I actually make it so intentional to travel until you're out here in YouTube out here meaning YouTube is when you know what kind of content people subscribe to like what your audience likes to see you doing mostly like for me I know it's vlogs and 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 travel content so yeah the other uh, lesson that youtube has taught me actually what has youtube taught me it has taught me patience it has taught me to take it easy in this sense for example this video that i am shooting today i had shot it a week ago so yesterday i was getting to edit it so that it goes up on the 1st of december and then i realized i lost the footage what do you do you get mad a bit but also you you have to put out content so you just eat humble pie and shoot the video again because you can lose footage sometimes uh you like for me when i use my phone sometimes my phone gets full and i'm like but i want to vlog but now what can you do you know you do the best you can when you can but also if you can't change the situation and that's how life is like if for example if there's traffic on Mombasa road because hey they need to finish jengaing this road like yesterday but like when there's traffic and you're stuck in traffic what can you do apart from una jam too but like ni lazima tu kae ngoje traffic ishe ufike nyumbani so what you guys should look look out for next year i think next year um I don't know I don't want to give it all away but uh, I'm looking forward to doing uh collaborations more collaborations next year this year I think I only did two so as I was saying I think for me the biggest lesson that I have learned from YouTube first of all is that you should know why you're getting into YouTube um just a reason to keep you going and people say this all the time like from the YouTube videos that I watch they say numbers do not okay some people because some of course are chasing their numbers but some will tell you uh numbers don't matter don't look at the numbers but let me tell you something it even got to a point that I for a minute I was like 
I wish my numbers could grow just a bit from here, you know. So the pressure is there, but also I think for me now it's it's good to just look at it and have it as a motivation, you know, have it like a goal that you set and now you work towards it. To be quite honest, when I joined YouTube, I my intention wasn't really to make money out of it. I was just trying to express myself now in video because I find videos are more interactive and more expressive and that's why I got into YouTube but when I was on YouTube I was like oh but this is a, an opportunity you know like people are reaching out to me pushed me out of my comfort zone to actually reach out even to more companies and try and work with them and all of that and of course you know this number this companies will look at your numbers so it's kind of knowing uh kind of finding a balance and knowing how to work around it so that it doesn't work against you right before you monetize 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 that word your channel you need to have a thousand subscribers but also a thousand a thousand subscribers is one but getting to the number of watch hours is another <laughs> so um yeah and that's kind of where i am because now i'm excited i want to monetize my content but also now you know where we're almost there though we're almost there so please 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 watch my videos and then so that we can get to that i don't know it just it's just a good way to motivate myself and also just to celebrate myself the last thing i want to talk about was actually a question i put a question sticker on my instagram if you had not following me on instagram please do chabet underscore mckenna put out a question question sticker because i'm planning to do a q a which will come um I'm, I'm actually finishing this video then i start filming that other video today was just a filming day i feel like a producer a director an editor all those things under my name I to answer one of those questions here because it's relevant for youtube someone asked me what my creation process for youtube looks like and that's a good way to i think end this blog first of all before i joined youtube i identified that i want to do travel and lifestyle content so travel is basically you know when i travel or when i go somewhere i take you guys along with me lifestyle on the other hand is basically my life a bit and pieces because even if i'm vlogging a day in my life that will technically be i think three or even two hours of my day out of the 24 hours that we have for a day usually i like to have um, a content calendar so i create my content calendar per month so for example we're in november right so as but for this month it's different because i'm doing vlogmas so i'm trying to get a bit more videos because that's i think 13 videos um this month only <laughs> So, uh, but basically, I usually have content videos, cont a content calendar, and I know my upload days are on Wednesdays at 11 a.m. If you didn't know, now you know. <laughs> For example, now from my calendar, you know, like my personal calendar, I know we're going to be traveling this day, I know we're going to be hanging out this place this day, so I make sure I take advantage of such ninis, of, of such uh, opportunities when I'm outside, when I'm having a good time just outside of my normal routine. How I picked Wednesday, by the way, I didn't just wake up and pick a day. So on my Instagram, Wednesday and Fridays are usually my best days. These insights are provided by Instagram. Now, if it's a sit-down videos, I come up with ideas um, based around what is happening in my life or what I'm doing, what I'm up to, or what is happening even in the world. For example, like the breast cancer uh, video that I did, you know, it was October, it was relevant. I come up with it so that I make sure I'm consistent or I make sure that I have a video to actually put out every Wednesday and also not just a video but a video that's well thought out so that's basically my creation process on YouTube but it for today's video thank you so much for choosing to join me I hope you guys enjoyed I hope I don't know I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys are excited about vlogmas because I am definitely excited about vlogmas <laughs> I was just hoping that I make it to the 25th if I don't life is a journey we move <laughs> so but i'm really excited about it um, um as you can see i am enthusiastic about creating content for you guys so please keep watching <laughs> please keep subscribing and share oh, but yeah thank you so much for choosing to join me today guys i'll see you on my next video bye